Even though I missed some time, we're back to now reviewing the Windy City Bulls G League games, and we got two games to talk about today, both games in which Adama Sinogo continues to flash every bit of the potential every Bulls fan wants to see from him. We're going to talk about all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central. But the G League review part of it where we talk about the Windy City Bulls and who's coming up in the wings for the Chicago Bulls in their G League system. And we got two games to talk about uh, this week. And first up, the Bulls took on the Winchester Knicks. No Dale and Terry, no, uh, no uh, Batim, no Julian Phillips in this as they all have been called up for the Chicago Bulls. But in this game, the, one of the standouts absolutely has and continues to be Adama Sonogo for the Chicago Bulls, 19 points, going 8 of 12 from the field, 12 rebounds, 3 blocks, 1 assist. Adama Sonogo, when you watch him over the course of this of this uh, G League season so far, you see the way that he's adapted week after week, month after month, to the to the point where now he he's clearly heads and shoulders above this level of competition down there in the G League. It's going to be really interesting to see what the Bulls do with him, but more on that later. Henry Gerald also stepped out in this game for 16 points, going uh, with 11 rebounds, two assists, one steal. He goes uh, 7 of 14 from the field and 1 of 2 from three point range. Then you also have Quentin Jackson, who's been stepping up really big for the Chicago Bulls, especially in the second game we're going to talk about here. But 15 points for him, going 4 of 12 from the field, 0 of 3 from three point range, four rebounds, four assists. And then Evan Gilliard. Now, this is not a player that I've talked a lot about on these G League review games, but he's starting to step up a lot for the Windy City Bulls as well. 13 points, 5 of 12 from the field, 2 rebounds, 8, ass- eight assists, 2 steals in this game. And overall, this, the, the Windy City Bulls in this game just played a really good brand of team basketball. And that's when we're seeing the Windy City Bulls play at their best. When they play as a team, they spread the ball out, even without like Dalen Terry and Batim missing from this team who've been really big pieces of that Chicago Bulls. You know, this G League season so far, we're 8-12 and 12 on the G League season, so take that for what you will in it. But this was a, a really good game with the pace. The Bulls didn't go too far down on their bench either in this game. Almost every player that checked into this game, except for three, check, uh, scored double digits. So spreading that ball around in this game, getting that win 98-84 to 84 against the Winchester Knicks. Listen, my pettiness, it doesn't matter if it's G League. When the Bulls get wins over any team named the Knicks, I have my own personal enjoyment out of that. But then the second game of this week was a bigger game uh, against the Indiana Mad at Ants. The Chicago Bulls won this uh, 106 to 97, did the Windy City Bulls in this game. And this was a game that really a lot of the, the players that you really want to see stepped up, stepped up in a meaningful way. But it was really all about Quentin Jackson in this game, just playing like a number one at times, going seven of 11 from the field, two of four from three point range, seven assists, five rebounds, one steal, one block from Quentin Jackson. But then Adama Sonogo once again, 29 points from Adama Sonogo, going 9 of 13 from the field. He did in this game, taking no threes, seven rebounds, two assists, one steal, one block. Adama Sonogo in this game was the player that just couldn't be guarded at all. There, there was no answer for him that that, that that Mad Ants had for him in this game, and that's what you want to see. Again, nobody's saying with Adama Sonogo this is going to translate one for one um, for them in, in the next level, but this is the way that you definitely want to see this this uh, see him play in this game. And I said 29 points, 19 points in that game, but the way that he played, the way that he performed, and the way that he just stepped out and, like I said, could not be guarded in this game, that's every every bit that you want to see from Adama Sonogo with those 19 points, just playing the way that he's able to play. And uh, when, when Sonogo's going, it just, it just it, it, it's, it's so evident that he is better than the rest of the competition at this G League level. Now, we did have a really solid game from uh, from Henry Drell as well in this game, playing that forward spot, that, that wing spot. Uh, 14 points from him. He goes 4-13 from the field, 2-6 of six from three-point range, six rebounds, three assists, uh, two steals in this game from him, and even two block shots. And I didn't mean, don't know if I mentioned Dama Sonogo had two block shots in this game as well. But the two players that are on the two-way contracts, we, of course, uh, 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 Funk hasn't really hasn't gotten a chance to come over to the Windy City Bulls. We'll get him playing with them next season, uh, next game. But this was a really good game to see uh, the way that the, the way that the players that we want to see step up in this game. But another one, Kiefer Sykes in this game, who's not a name you're going to hear me call a lot, but he goes 19 minutes, 5 of 12 from the field. He scores 12 points for the Windy City Bulls in this game and four assists. He had some really needed buckets as well in this game uh, that you can't overlook. And then Ben Copet Jr. as well with 13 points in this game. So overall, 
Bulls win their two games this week. They're 8-12 and on the season down there in the G League. They need to go on a winning streak if they're going to want to try to actually get some post-G League uh, season play, which I, you know, I know I already can hear the people talking shit about. They're like, really? Really, we're talking about a, win, uh, a G League team getting postseason play? Listen, it is what it is. I love talking about basketball. The more basketball, the better. And that's for all my teams, including the Windy City Breeze. But what this is all about, for those that have, because we've been away for so long, those that uh, that look at it and ask why we're reviewing G League games, is really to talk about the players coming up in the wings for the Chicago Bulls that we can look at and say are going to be a part of the Bulls' future mainly. And the Bulls don't have very many games left. we got probably about 12 games left on the G League season, so more than enough time to turn it around from where they are right now. We actually have a game on March 1st against the G League Ignite that I'm really looking forward to see how the Bulls are performing in that game. But as far as like the players that are standing out and the players that look to project to actually be part of the Bulls roster potentially going forward, one of them is Adama Sinogo, who just turned 22 years old back in February. Uh, you know, he's he's so he's going to be 22 for the main part of next next season um, in the in the NBA or in the G League, wherever he plays. He's absolutely killing it down in the G League. 20 points per game. He's averaging 11 rebounds per game. He's doing it efficiently as well. 63 field goal shooting percentage. And he stopped make, taking threes. And the reason why I want to point that out is he was a player that at the collegiate level could make three pointers. That's more of a mid range shot in the NBA game. And he's really using that to kind of spread the ball and keep people respectable on him, even when they're guarding him. He's doing this all in 31 minutes per game. And while the Bulls are cash strapped next season, um, it could be to they have to pivot to Adama Sonogo to maybe play some big minutes for them, uh, consider some minutes at the big position, not big minutes like he's going to average a whole hell of a lot of minutes. But he's doing really good. Like that 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 uh, rebounding uh, percentage that he got, the rebounding rate is even better. He's also averaging a, almost a block and a half per game and right under a steal per game. Adama Snogo is showing the basketball IQ that he had in college, and he's adapted to the speed in the G League level really well. Now, again, it's still different than that in the NBA, so he's going to have to show another le level of adaptation if he wants to become a player at the NBA level. But you can definitely see where the Bulls are looking at this guy and saying, this is a guy that we are investing in this development, and he could end up turning into something for them, a role player, at, at uh, you know, at, at, at least for that team. And that's what you want to start using your G League for. And then our other player that's on a two-way contract is Henry Drell, averaging basically 14 points per game, seven rebounds per game, almost two and a half assists per game as well. He's doing that at an efficient 40, uh, 43, 45% from the field right now. Now, 35% from three-point range, taking four three-pointers per game. That's better than what he did last season, taking the same four and a half three-pointers per game last season as well. So that efficiency is risen, risen two percentage points basically while he's keeping the same amount of shots. And the reason why Henry Drell is somebody that the Bulls definitely seem like they are invested in is he's 24 years old, right? Um, and it, well, he's 23 right now, turned 24 in April, but he's 6'9", 220 pounds. Now he still looks slight of frame. It looks like he can still put on some, some weight there, but Henry Drell is a player those comparisons to Max Struess are legit as far as when Max Struess was in the G League. And because of that, you can see why the Bulls converted him to that two-way deal, sending off Justin Lewis to really kind of hold on to him, much like the Bulls did. If they had not converted him to a two-way deal, a team could have come and stole him away for a two-way contract like we did Andrew Funk when he was on the Grand uh, City Rapids uh, team. So, you know, it, 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 the Bulls have him there because I truly think that they think that there's something – in this guy that they can that they can cultivate and bring out and maybe come and bring a sh be a shooter in the NBA level at some point in time. Three point shooting is, is is still projected to be a need for the Chicago Bulls for the considerable future. And keeping somebody like a Henry Drell down there in your system as a player that can step up for you when when needed, maybe to be a back end of the bench shooter at the very minimum, a shooter for you off the bench. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulls try to take a look at him in that stretch and in that way next season as well. Now, we know that the Bulls just ca called up Ernold Lott Batim. I've talked a lot about him. He really shined down in the G League, starting off the season shooting like 27% from three-point range, and he ended up bringing that all the way up to 43% on seven and a half attempts per game. Got to see if he's going to be able to do that at the G League level, but I'm good to see him get that call up from the G League to that NBA contract, and we'll see if the Bulls are really starting to look to do that a little bit more often with some of these players that they have down here as well, because I, I think there's a, there's a chance on that. And then the, the one that I want to talk about before we go as well is Quentin Jackson. Now, this is a guy who came to this G League uh, team. He's older. He was born in 1998, uh, 26 years old. So, again, he's, he's, he's an older player, 
But I would not be surprised if somebody takes a shot at this guy, um, you know, uh, next year, maybe to own a two-way contract. I'm not saying that it's going to be the Bulls, but look out for that. He's averaging 18 points per game for the Chicago Bulls, basically 17.9. He's doing that on 49% shooting from the field, only 21% shooting from, from three-point range, so he's not really a, a three-point shooting guard, but I would not be surprised. Defense as well, he's solid in that defensive game, averaging almost two steals per game. I could definitely see a team taking a shot at him at some point as well, but be on the lookout for that. But that's it. We're back to doing the G League review videos. I'm going to be more consistent for on this throughout uh, to the end of the season, so make sure you guys stay tuned in. You can follow the show at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, bullcentralpod at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for the mailbag, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls relate, related, even the G League. Thanks to you guys. And like I liked in every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See red if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. 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 Media.